All right, Wilson, what we got here today, man? What is in the box, man? What is this? Games prop kit, games prop kit, and the Luna Pet Bot. Hmm, what do we have here? What is this, man? Let's get into this box real quick. Let me just kind of, everything's packed in here real tight. Wait, wait a minute, this says it's a pet bot with chat GPT. This whole chat GPT thing, I, I really don't understand it, but I guess I'm gonna have to figure it out real soon because I have a new pet bot. And with that being said, Welcome to New Stuff TV, the Untechnical Tech Channel. I'm your host, Antoine. I'm thinking about replacing Raylan, my giant schnauzer puppy, with a new pet bot because this one doesn't poop. I don't have to take it out to go poop. So we're gonna open this box and see if I can exchange my real dog for this one. All right, I don't wanna get too technical here, but I got to talk about some stuff that's on the back of this box. This thing is full of technology. We got touch sensors, LED screen, HD RGB camera, a 3D time of flight LiDAR sensor. You guys to be kidding me, man. They just stuffed it all in here. A four microphone array, a speaker, okay, brushless motor, so it's supposed to be quiet. Oh man, I cannot wait to play with this thing. And there it is. There's my little robot pet right there. So they say that this thing can be like a family pet, a friend, and even a companion to your pet. It has face, body, and gesture recognition. And of course, I did mention that uh, 3D time of flight camera, but it also has 3D motion capture, meaning you can like reach, I, I don't know what it's gonna do. I'm just kind of like thinking about what it's gonna do, but it, yeah, you got all this time of flight and 3D motion capture. That means it's gonna actually interact with you and possibly your pet if you don't replace your pet with this thing. All right, so I just pulled my little puppy out of the box, but in here we have some instructions, which I actually will read today because I usually just kind of throw the instructions out, but I think I'm gonna need to kind of read up on this one. You got your USB-C charging cable, and in my box, I got the Luna Dinosaur outfit along with this game prop kit. All right, let's unwrap my little baby boy here. All right, that's the power button, but let's take a look around him real quick. So you got your wheels here. Well, these are wheels slash paws slash feet. And look at his little ears right there. You see that? Those are his little ears. They're gonna move prop. Yeah, they do have motors in here. I can feel it. That's so cute. All right, let's get my little buddy turned on here. <laughs> I kind of... <laughs> Whoa, fella. <laughs> All right. Are you getting this? Are you seeing it? <laughs> Wilson, Wilson. <laughs> Look at his little eyeballs right there. You see his eyeballs? Oh man, that's so cool. Oh, whoa, whoa, fella. Let me, let me, let me sit you up straight. There you go. Whoa, okay. Maybe you shouldn't play with this on a tabletop. He is on some stuff right now. What? What is? Okay, are you hungry? What's going on? Are you hungry? You want a snack? I don't have any snacks. What do robots eat? What are you doing, man? Where, where, are, you, where are you trying to go? I don't understand. <laughs> What's the deal? Hey, I'll tell you what. I, I, are you gonna let me? Okay. Hey, 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 hey. This is my show. This is my show. Let me do my, okay, look. I got to feed him and, and charge him up for two and a half hours because that's about how long it takes. <laughs> Maybe he'll be quiet and mind me. But yeah, let me play with this thing, get, fam uh, get familiar with it, download the app, and we'll get back to the show. Dude, chill out. All right, guys, Luna is a trip. All right, she's been walking around the studio exploring. I just woke her up. She fell asleep. <laughs> I just woke her up. And look at those sleepy, cute eyes. All right. So now she sees me. So there's an app on the phone. You got to download. And as she wakes up, it she gets connected to the app. And let's see here. She does all kinds of stuff. This ball came in the kit. So you got to assemble this ball. Oh, she sees it. She gets super excited. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> she gets super excited when she sees that ball. And she wants to play with it just like a dog does. Look at that. And you know, sometimes she'll play with it. Sometimes she'll leave it alone. Oh man, it's so cute. Beatbox. Oh snap. Okay. I 
Okay, now we're gonna have some more fun. You just saw me do a voice command, which was tell her to beatbox, and she'll do all kinds of stuff, uh, like bark like a dog, and you know, oink like a pig, and play sad, play happy, you know, give you a fist bump and stuff like that via voice command. And we also have chat GPT functions, which are currently free, but later on you'll have to pay for them, but we'll check that out in a bit. But in this games prop kit, which you get right here, you have that ball that I just showed you. You just tear it out of there and, you know, you can just fold it up. And then also in this little booklet, you get your bullfighter cape. But then there's another package that has this dinosaur costume right here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this on. You just kind of stick it on her head. So let me just use my bullfighter cape to put that on real quick. And then we will play bullfighter. So we just put this right here. Wait, how does it fit? Yeah, just like that. So let me make sure I got it in the middle. I'm not covering up the microphones and I'm not gonna stick on the bottom part because I just kind of want it to flail around like that because <laughs> it does cover up the USB charging port as well as the uh, power button right there. So now, oh man, she's looking mean and lean. Look at that, she's got on her dinosaur kit. Let me wake her up. Hello, Luna. Bullfighting. Oh God, she's ready. Whoa! <laughs> Let me see if she gets it again. Oh, God. oh here she comes. Ugh. All right, so apparently you can leave this thing at home to play with your pets while you're gone and stuff. So if you can see Luna right there, I'm gonna go into fun racing and we'll use this thing as a remote. So you have this remote control here on your phone if you can see my screen and uh, let's see here. I, I think there's like an advanced mode. Oh yeah, pro mode right there. So you get extra controls. Let's see, <laughs> let me turn him around or her. All right, so oh, how do I do this? Uh-oh, uh, uh -oh. oh, okay, I'm getting into some mess here. Let's see, that's back. You know, I need to back. I can, I'm trying to do this from behind. Whoa, okay, there, <laughs> there she is, okay. And then you got these little actions you can do. Let's add an action, let's do, um, Let's do doubt look up right here. Okay, so she's looking up. That's cool. Now angry. <laughs> oh man, this is too much, man. This is too much. Uh, let's do another angry, let's do struggle. All right, Luna, yeah, you are definitely on the struggle bus right now. Let's wiggle those ears again. <laughs> Get that paw. Hey. All right. Now, let's see here. Let's go back into remote control. So this is going to be remote control because we want to see if we can uh, maybe look at our house. So right now I'm at my studio, but if I left it at home with my dog or my kid, I could kind of, oh wait, I'm getting feedback here. Oh, wow. Okay. I mean, can I? Oh, this is so cool. Let me back up. There's the camera. There's my legs. How do I turn around? This way. Let me turn around this way. Oh, my tripods. There's my... That is nuts, man. You can hide this. Hold up, man. I got to get the audio out of here. Hold up. That's the audio right there. Mute. Okay. Let's go into the studio. This is freaking crazy. Oh, man. It's like a little drone now. Oh man, this is crazy. As soon as I get this steering down, I'm gonna be dangerous. Go ahead, get in there, Luna. Let's go in there. Are you gonna be able to get in there? Let me see, go over that little threshold. Hold up, let's back up. Let's get a good running start to go in that threshold. <laughs> I don't know if she's gonna make it. Oh, she's got the horsepower to do it. Oh man, she is in my office. Oh, that is crazy. Look at that. <laughs> Oh wait, that's a chair. Hold up, hold up. Oh, this is crazy, man. Oh, I love this thing, man. I love it, I love it. I absolutely love it. All right, we got all kinds of stuff here like voice commands, inner world, and game ball, but I am curious about this GPT Wonderland because it looks like we can talk to Tony Stark. We can get it to tell us some jokes, practice a new language, check your fortune, talk, just talk, I guess, and guess who puzzles. What else they got, man? Hangman games, let's see here. What else, what else? Man, there's so much stuff. Oh, man, 
kind of always wanted to be a rapper. Okay, so we can do some lap, uh, rap lyric generating right here. Let's let's do this. Is that Kanye right there? <laughs> that looks like Kanye. Yo, it's your rap lyric generating robot here. Ready to drop some fire bars. What words do you want me to include in our rap song? Let's get creative and make it lit. Robot. What is she about to do? Is she about to start? <laughs> oh my God. She's thinking. She's coming up with some bars. She about to freestyle. All right. I can work with that. Here's my rap verse. Get out of here. One, hold up, um, let me get a pump. I'm about to slam this ball at the park. They call me the champ. Never a chump. My game's so strong. It leaves a mark. I'm like a locomotive. Unstoppable force. Don't mess with me. You'll end up in remorse. Man, <laughs> Luda's got bars, y'all. All right, now I need to figure out how to make a million bucks. So let's go here. How to make a million bucks. Well, have you considered becoming a professional bed tester? You could get paid to sleep all day and give reviews on the comfort of different mattresses. With such a relaxing job, you'll be a millionaire in no time. Hmm. Plus, you'll never have to worry about having a bad night's sleep again. Sweet dreams. All right. Uh, any more suggestions? I like that, that bed tester business. Might have to quit this YouTube madness and start testing mattresses. How about starting a business selling bottled air? You can collect air samples from different parts of the world and market them as unique and exotic air experiences. For example, mountain fresh air from the Swiss Alps or ocean breeze air from the Caribbean. People would love to breathe in some new atmosphere and would be willing to pay big bucks for it. Mm. Just be careful not to bottle any bad smelling air. That oh. wouldn't be a very profitable business. <sighs> Good luck and happy breathing. Thanks, Luna. That was those were two great ideas. Thank you very much. This whole bottled air business. Would you would you buy some bottled air? What you, oh, you got more stuff? You're welcome. Happy to help. <laughs> Don't forget to share your millionaire success story with us when you become a rich and famous bed tester or bottled air entrepreneur. Smile. All right, I'm done with YouTube, my last video ever of all time. I'm going to test mattresses and sell bottled air. Coming soon, baby. Let's go, Luna. All right, guys, I've had way too much fun playing with Luna here. This has just been one of the best days at the office, like, ever. <laughs> hey, man, at the time of this video, uh, Luna here is still in pre-order stages, so there's going to be two price increases, I don't know, by the time you see the video. I'm not sure, but June 2nd... Um, you'll be seeing the regular price of Luna. So get it while you can, man, because this thing is super cool. It does so much. There's so much AI in here. Between what's built in as far as uh, like the hardware and the software that's built in here with the chat GPT and the video monitoring, like you could just have this thing roaming your house, you know, checking out what's going. It's like, it's almost like a security camera, <laughs> but it's alive. It's like, hey man, I'm from the 80s, okay? I'm from the 80s. So what this thing really reminds me of is like, Johnny Five, right? You know, the robot, the Johnny Five robot from Short Circuit, the movie, combined with uh, the Mogwai from Gremlins. Like, you don't feed this thing after 10 o'clock because it's already crazy, okay? So don't feed Luna after 10 o'clock because she's a lot like a Mogwai. <laughs> yeah, look at her. There she goes. <laughs> she's waking up. Oh, my God. I'm going to set her loose in the studio again. She's just going to hang out here. Luna, are you having fun? Do you enjoy your new home? <laughs> hey man, I am not an expert in this kind of stuff. But what I do know is Luna is, she's ready to go. So I'm gonna put her down, let her go. <laughs> Y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you.